Do you like silver coins? Do you like half dollar coins? Have you ever heard of the Oregon Trail half dollar coins? We will talk about them right after this. How much money do you really have in your pocket? A $204,000 penny found by a teenager. A $10,000 coin found in a Cheerios box. And an $18,000 penny found by one of our viewers. Got coins? JB Coins Inc. on YouTube. Daily videos and free giveaways. Join us today. In this video, we will talk about the Oregon Trail half dollar you should know about. Now, we did a video about the history of the Oregon Trail. And the man, Ezra Meeker, who basically made the Oregon Trail Memorial Half Dollar happen. So we won't repeat that here, but we'll link that video at the end of this one. In this video, we will talk about all of the Oregon Trail coins, mintages, and their values. Many are now showing up at auctions. So it's very important and interesting to see which one is the most valuable. We will compare them in the same grades, and the grade we will use is MS-68. We decided to talk about them for many reasons. The first reason is their beauty. This commemorative coin is voted the most beautiful design by many collectors. And on top of that, many of them are beautifully toned too. Another reason is the fact that it's the only commemorative coin struck for an extended period of time. These coins were struck from 1926 to 1939, with some gaps in between, and a total of 14 different issues. No other silver commemoratives had an issue period that long. Now they were designed by Laura Garden Fraser and her husband James Fraser and they commemorate those who traveled the Oregon Trail and settled the Pacific coast of the United States in the mid 19th century. And they were struck in 90% silver. The coins were struck in large quantities in the 1926, 1926S, and 1928 issues. But after several years of trying to sell all 100,055 1926S Oregons, before the 1928 issue could be released, the dealers involved realized that a lower, rarer issue would be easier to sell for a good profit. So they convinced the Mint to melt 44,000 of the 50,028 originally minted of the 1928. And guess what? That's exactly what happened. After that, the Oregons had lower mintages and were struck in 1933, 34, 36, 37, 38, and 39. And we will give you the values on all of them, like we said, in the same grade, MS-68. So, starting with the 1926 minted at the Philadelphia Mint, this coin won't have any mint mark. The Philadelphia Mint struck 47,000 955 coins and the highest grade known until now is MS-68 plus but none were ever sold and the same goes with the MS-68 grade none were sold so PCGS estimates the value of the 1926 in MS-68 at $12,500 but it's only an estimate and really doesn't mean a lot until it goes to auction Another commemorative from 1926 was minted in the San Francisco Mint. The San Francisco Mint made 83,055 coins, a number almost twice larger than the amount that the Philadelphia Mint did. They will bear an S mint mark. In grade MS-68, this coin sold in December of 2019 at Heritage Auctions for $5,040. Now, they didn't strike any coins in 1927. And in 1928, they were struck only at the Philadelphia Mint. They don't bear any mint mark. 
and the Philadelphia Mint struck 6,028 coins, a drastically lower number compared to the 26S, for example, with the mintage of 83,055. And because of a very low mintage and a very low population of the 1928 Oregon Trail in MS-68, they are selling for very nice money. In fact, this coin, which is the latest sale, sold at Heritage Auctions for $10,925. Now, the next issue of the Oregon Trail Half Dollars happened in 1933, and this time the Denver Mint was striking these coins. Now, they will bear a D mint mark, and the Denver Mint struck an even lower number this year, only about 5,008 coins. They are not easy to find in Great MS-68. And this coin sold at Goldberg Auctions for $20,988. What a nice price. The picture is courtesy of Ophira and Larry Goldberg Auctioneers. The next year, in 1934, these coins were also struck at the Denver Mint. But this time, with a slightly higher mintage, of 7,006 commemoratives. The 1934D Oregon Trail half dollar commemorative is not the lowest mintage coin for the Oregon Trail commemorative series. However, it is the scarcest coin in grades of MS-67 or higher. So there were no MS-68s for this date and the mint mark until just this last year. How cool is that? So. There is one coin in MS-68 grade, but it never sold. So PCGS estimates the value of this coin at $20,000. The next year, they minted the Oregon Trail half dollar wasn't until 1936. And two mints produced this coin. The Philadelphia Mint struck 10,006 coins, no mint mark since they came from the Philly Mint, and in grade MS-68, this coin sold at Heritage Auction for $5,760. Now, the 1936 S is the fourth lowest mintage of the 14 Oregon Trail commemorative half dollars. And it is indeed the fourth rarest in total number of survivors, surpassed in rarity only by the three very low mintage 1939 issues. There were 5,006 originally minted. They will bear an S mint mark. And this coin in grade MS-68 was sold at Heritage Auctions for $6,756. As you can see, they're all bringing super nice money, even though MS-68 is not the highest grade for many of them. And we will tell you right here that even in lower grades, they're still selling for hundreds. In 1937, the Oregon Trail commemoratives were only minted in Denver. A total of 12,008 coins were minted. Though this is a relatively small mintage, it seems like the entire mintage was saved and well preserved at that, as this is one of the most common of the Oregon Trails in gem condition. And the high population of this coin makes them not as valuable as the previous one. This coin, which is the latest sale of this coin, happened in December of 2019 at Legend Rare Auctions. And this coin sold for $1,351. The next year, they were also struck at all three mints. The 1938 organs were struck at the Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco mints and for the first time, the Oregon issues were sold as a set of three coins. The initial price for the set of the three 1938 organs was $6.25. All three mints struck about 6,000 coins each, and most were sold in the year of issue. They have very similar mintages, but different values because of the population which simply means how many coins within the same date and mint mark exist in the same grade. Most surviving 1938 organs 
our mint state, with an average grade being MS64 to MS66. In MS68, they are hard to come by, and this coin sold at auction for $10,575. Really nice money. Of course, this is the latest sale of this coin. Though the mintage of the 38D Oregon was similar, the coins in grade MS68 are easier to find. Therefore, this coin sold for only $2,760. And the 1938S Oregon is fairly easy to obtain in up to MS67 grade, but much harder in MS68 or higher. This coin in MS68 grade sold at heritage auctions for $6,463. So here you have a super clear example of how the population, not so much the mintage, plays a main role in a coin's value. Now, the 1939 Oregons were the last of the Oregon series. They also had the lowest mintage, 3,004 coins for each of the 1939 and 39D and 3,005 coins for the 1939S. The 1939 organs, though very low mintages, are somewhat available in gem condition since many were saved with the exception of the 39 struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Now the 39 struck at the Philadelphia Mint won't bear a mint mark. And in grade MS68, this coin alone sold for $18,400. Wow. The 1939D struck at the Denver Mint in grade MS68 is worth $4,600, and it sold at Heritage Auctions in December of 2019. And the 1939S struck at the San Francisco Mint, also in MS68, this coin sold at Great Collections for $4,968. So as you can see, these amazing coins are worth great money. And you also by now should have a good understanding of which one is the most valuable and which one has the lowest minage. So if you wish to buy one, good luck. But also, if you see them in garage sales or estate sales, Try to make sure they're legit. So we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Also, please remember to hit the little bell and set it so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video or do a live stream. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.